So you have an MPH degree. Well done, Ray. What next? Well, firstly, you need to find a job to apply for. And we're going to talk about how to do that in this video. And secondly, once you've applied for a job, you need to prepare for the job interview. And believe me, preparation matters. Let's start off by talking about how to find a job that you can apply for. I'm going to talk about how to search the internet, so don't panic. But there's a few other things that I want you to think about first. Firstly, get your CV or your resume up to date. Here you want to get the balance right. Don't make your CV too long and detailed because for an entry level job, you're unlikely to have the hiring manager read through a 10 page CV, especially if he or she is reading hundreds of applications. But make sure that you highlight any experience that you have in the public health space, anything like volunteer work, research that you might have done, like your dissertation or your capstone project that you did at the end of your MPH. Also, highlight anything that you've done that demonstrates transferable skills, even if they weren't done in the context of public health. So anything that demonstrates leadership skills, management skills, research and analytic skills. And get a friend to read over your CV and give you feedback. And also try dropping it into ChatGPT and ask for feedback. You'll be surprised at some of the sort of interesting insights that come from that. Next, network like crazy, but don't be annoying. So use platforms like LinkedIn to reach out to people who might be looking for staff, but reach out to people at the right level. So don't be emailing the director general of the WHO and don't email people asking for a job. Rather, make contact with people with a short, polite message and include maybe a question that gives them something to respond to. And think about volunteering. So make yourself available as a resource, even outside of the context of formal employment. This will give you some of the experience that you need to make yourself a better candidate for future jobs. Offer to help with projects as an intern or perhaps even a paid external consultant. You might even want to start with the professors that have been teaching you during your MPH over the last year. Now let's talk about the search itself. Now, there are hundreds of jobs being advertised on sites like the WHO webpage, Relief Web, other UN agencies like UNICEF, etc., etc. Sites like the WHO webpage allow you to filter jobs that are for external consultants. Now, that's often a good way to get your foot in the door. So I suggest you look into that. I also suggest that you use uh, AI like ChatGPT's Deep Research or the agents to extract jobs that are appropriate for your level of experience. And I'm going to make a separate video about how to use large language models to review job adverts and rank them in order of how appropriate you are given your CV as a candidate. Now let's talk about how to prepare for the interview itself. Firstly, do your research. Learn everything you can about the organization, their objectives, recent successful projects and outputs, and who their stakeholders are. That's extremely important. Also, you might want to find out as much as you can about the organization's leadership. And remember, of course, to read the terms and reference of the job itself very carefully. You want to make sure you go into that interview with a crisp understanding of what it is that they're going to ask you to do. Next, think about alignment. Now, what do I mean by that? Join the dots between the terms of reference of the job, so what you're expected to do, and your experience and do the same thing with the competencies required by the job. Remember that in the interview, they're going to be asking you for examples of what you've done to demonstrate your ability to function in this role. Now, in many interviews, they ask you to give a presentation and this is an opportunity for you to shine. If you present well, you send a strong signal that you're able to represent the organization in meetings and that you're going to make the organization look good. So give a lot of thought to your slides. In my opinion, your slide should have as few words as possible. Don't make people read what you're telling them. Instead, have images and graphics that complement the narrative that you're providing. And keep your presentation short. Going over time is much worse than finishing early. If you finish early, it gives them time for questions and discussions and nobody minds that. And of course, practice your presentation. Do it again and again and get a friend to give you feedback. And that brings us to doing practice interviews. Do practice interviews with a friend, do lots of them and get used to answering difficult questions. The more you practice, the easier you're going to find it when you do the actual interview. Now, if you want updates about currently advertised jobs in the public health or global health space, then become a member of my YouTube channel. Membership is different from subscribing. It gives you access to a whole lot of content that I've created that can only be seen by channel members. So check it out. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.